uh, the year before uh, last, um, Excel had been sending out these uh, mailers with your uh, bill, and they were talking about their solar credit program. And, uh, and I've always been really interested in all things solar. I mean, uh, I tell people that I had in the eighth grade, it was in 1958, <laughs> I was standing up in front of the class giving them my science presentation and uh, telling them I wanted to be a solarologist. <laughs> and then I, I had uh, my science fair project, I had a big uh, solar cooker I made out of uh, cardboard and tin foil, oh, really? you know. And then uh, the next year, uh, I did another one with uh, chlorella algae uh, and composting that into methane and then generating electricity from that. Uh, and uh, so I was very interested in it a long, long time ago. Uh, but the prices, of course, were prohibitive and, they, and the products really weren't available anyway. Uh, so anyway, I saw this and I was intrigued. Uh, and then uh, Carrie Hayes and, and REC Solar showed up at Costco. That's and met you met him? Okay. So I was, you know, I hadn't, my wife had seen them and then she said, oh, you, they may still be there because I got home from work and Costco's open a little later. And she took me down there and I met him and, and uh, you know, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I got to do it. <laughs> um, and from that, then, it was, that was September uh, of uh, 2007, and I thought, well, I would just put in my uh, application to the uh, ar uh, you know, architectural committee, because I had to do that for the yard and the deck, and uh, you know, you're supposed to get like a 45-day turnaround. Well, when I didn't get it, it by uh, you know, October, I went to inquire, and uh, I was told, well, you know, you could show up at the, uh, the next meeting. Well, by that time, um, it was being, well, I shouldn't say, was, I checked, I guess I put it off, gave them a little bit more time. When I called back in December uh, or November, uh, they were skipping December, I think, and going into January, so I had to wait even longer. And so I got involved. And then I found out that my application, they weren't doing anything on it at all. And it's because they said, well, they couldn't make a decision because they didn't have any guidance. And so they were supposed to have, you know, they didn't have any rules drafted. And uh, that really quite, made, that made me angry <laughs> because really, uh, under this, I wanted them to either, uh, you know, up or down, yes or no, because if they were going to say no, then I was just going to go off and sue them, uh, because under state law, I mean, you know, there was no question that I would get what I wanted. Uh, but I couldn't sue them, uh, or I could not uh, get an injunction uh, until they actually made a decision, <laughs> which was driving me crazy. <laughs> and... Um, so finally, I just talked to my friend Rich. I said, we've got to do something to make them make a decision. So they went through the, anyway, they insisted on this, uh, you know, first they had uh, drafted this one paragraph uh, thing about, you know, can't be more than four inches off the roof and whatnot. And then they made the claim that these panels uh, should match your roof color. And then I was, I was told, well, they come in gray and brown and red, you know, <laughs> which is not true. So I said, well, that's a restriction that cannot be met, and you'll have to just take that out. And, uh, and, and I demanded to know, uh, you know, what their source was for this information. So they gave me a local uh, solar contractor, and I called them up, you know, Rich did. And he said, there's no such thing as, as red panels. <laughs> so I went back and I said, well, we just politely inferred that maybe they misunderstood or, you know. Uh, and uh, so when they took it out, finally they had the guidance. And they were still dragging their feet. I mean, in each iteration here is another month, another month. Uh, and finally, um, Rich came in and 
brought you know the case law in and uh, pressed in you know and hinted that well they're going to get sued if they uh, don't make a decision. Week and a half later, I got my decision. They said I approved it. So I thought, well, I called up RC Solar, and the, uh, all through this process, Kerry Hayes was, you know, giving me support, and and uh, there was technical information he got me and stuff. Um, well, they came out, did their survey, had the plans ready. And we thought, well, this is going to go through really quickly. And they went down to the city. Well, the city now. Oh. <laughs> they said, oh, the electrical plan, you know, we can't just accept that. You know, you've got to have a wet stamp, for, you know, electrical a wet stamp, which is the, uh, another electrician has to, you know, kind of like a notary, see has, you know, has yeah. to see it and stamp it. And, you know, these are systems that are all, you know, kind of, there isn't anything... You know, they'd be like asking you for a wet stamp for how you wired up your exactly. stereo, you know. Exactly. But it was just a delaying tactic. Put them further behind, cost more money because, you know, the, you had to pay the guy. So eventually uh, it was put in, but the whole thing took uh, more than a year. And it could have been done in like two months. <laughs> and what startled me, I think, really was that. The people on the architectural committee seem to know nothing about solar, you know, and you would think here in Boulder County, and, and of course oh, yeah. the stuff has been out there for, well, I learned about it in 1958. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, asking questions like, what color are the panels? It's like, what planet are you on? Yeah, exactly. uh, so I found that the whole thing kind of depressing. Um, and I was hoping that, uh, that other people would, uh, you know, that would make it easier.